Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. I'm Denrick and today we are starting our journey in Timberborn. This is a game that I've wanted to play for quite some time and just never quite got around to it. So we're gonna stop that streak of not getting around to it today and we're gonna go with our brand new game with the Folktale faction, I think. And let's go ahead and hit next. Uh, we are going to go with a beginner friendly map because we are that. I think we're going to go with lakes and we will do the normal game mode. So your settlement starts with a moderate resources, droughts and uh, bad tides are milder at the beginning, but intensify over time. I think we're OK with that. And we will go ahead and hit the start button. And while we are starting, if you are new to the channel and have not hit that subscribe button yet, now's a great time to do so while the game's loading up. And also drop a like button. And then down in the comments, tell me your favorite thing about Timberborn and what you're looking forward to seeing in this series. All right, what would you like to call your settlement? We are going to call our settlement... Um, do we go, do we go simple here and go like uh, beaver dome? I think we do, I think we do. Oh, look at the little beavers coming out. That's so cool. Okay, uh, welcome to the tutorial. We'll help you get the basics of building a beaver settlement. Every new settlement needs logs. Only lumberjacks will cut trees. So place two lumberjack flags next to nearby trees. So it looks like our nearby trees are going to be right here. And we are going to place a flag there. And can I also... How do I rotate? Um, shift and R. Okay, let's shift and R one more time. And there we go. Uh, or just R also works, I guess. That 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 also works, just, just so we know. All right, these flags will not be built unless they are in district's building range. Uh-oh. Uh, you can extend it by building paths. Build, uh, okay. So we need to build a path. So... Let's let's build a path down here. Um, don't like that that did not that that was not even. But I guess that's okay, and we'll build that right there as well. Select the district center to see its building range. Um, yeah, I think. I think we're good now, right? We got, we're into both of those. So we should be good. You can extend it by building paths. We already did that. Um, what am, what, why did that not go away? There we go, continue. Phew, every building with an entrance must be connected to a district center by a path. Be aware that dis district centers have a limited range. Build paths to connect lumberjack flags to the district center. You can select the district center to see its range along the paths. Wait, I'm confused. This building isn't connected to any district center. Oh, because we got to do that. Mm. I have the I have the building the wrong way. Okay, we're gonna do that. And then this one, I guess I got to do too. I guess for simplicity, we're going to surround that building. I don't like that I did that, but it was my bad. We're learning new things. Lumberjacks will not start working until you tell them what to do. Use the cut trees tool to mark an area for cutting. A lumberjack flag uh, only cuts trees within its range. You can check it by selecting the flag. Okay. So we are going to cut trees. Um, and... Uh, 
I don't quite know what I'm doing here. But, yeah, we're going to... Oh, there we go. We're going to cut all these trees. Cut them up. Cut them up. All right. And then let's come over here. And let's mark this area as well. We'll add a little bit back there. All right. So let's continue. Beavers need water to survive. Build a water pump to ensure a continuous source of drinking water. Remember to connect it to a district center. So where would be a good spot for our water pump? Uh, water dependent. Pumps and filters water. Requires access to water. Do I have a way to see where water is? Uh, do we have an overlay for water? Th that I don't know. But it looks like it can go down here because I guess this would be the water right here because we can see the water there. Yeah, see, we see the water. It's 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 right there, I swear. Let's go ahead and put that there. And then we're going to go ahead and uh, build a path. Oh, we are definitely uh, in for some learning today. Uh, I kind of want this path. Oh, I can't go through there. Okay. So we'll go down like that. Uh, that's fine. What are these little blueberries? Ooh, that's cool. All right, so we are building our water pump. I like that. It is uh, dark in here, but it's so cool the beaver's running around. All right. Uh, let's go ahead and speed up time a little bit so we can get our water pump built. Which does have access, but we need the logs. Are we cutting down trees? I guess I forgot to, uh... Yeah, we're cutting down trees now. Okay. Oh, that's so cool! <laughs> oh, this is such a cool little game. Okay. So we're going to wait for our water pump to be built. And there's our water that we see flowing ever so nicely there. And we have some water up here, some water over here. I don't know what that is. That is some kind of ruins. All right, let's come back over to here. As our beavers work hard to get this built. And they are almost done, but it looks like we are waiting for some more logs. We have our beaver over here, our lumberjack cutting down that tree. And there we go. We've gotten our water pump available to us. So that is fantastic. All right, so in addition to water, beavers also need food. Build a gathering flag near some blueberry bushes. Gatherers will automatically gather uh, berries within the flag's range. You can set the range by selecting the gatherer flag. Uh, okay, so food, gathering flag. Uh, I think we're going to keep this one pretty simple here, and we're just going to put that right there. There's no reason to get too complicated there. Ooh, we got some wood production going. We're up to 102 wood. I like seeing that. We are getting this built. Uh, they are thirsty. We got water. We got water right here, right? We're, we're, we're getting water. All right. So we've built that. All right, a settlement needs stable food source. Build a farmhouse to plant and harvest crops. All right, so this is where we're going to have to start thinking about where we want our farms to be. And I kind of feel like over here wouldn't be a bad spot 
to place a farmhouse. Yeah, I like that. I don't like that we are struggling for water production, though. Can I... How do we get... Maximum depth is two. I don't... I don't quite know how we fix that. I don't quite know how we fix that. All right, let's go ahead and get this farmhouse built. Don't think we're going to get that built until tomorrow. And there we go. We have some beavers working on it right now. Yeah, I don't I don't know. Okay. So we're doing we're doing okay with water. We're just not doing great with water. We have a lot of beavers that need water, and I think we'll get that sorted back out today. For the most part. Yeah, we should we should be good with that today. All right, there we go. We just got our farmhouse built. And let's come down here and see what we got. So, nothing to do in range. Uh, prioritized resources. Farmers will not start working until you tell them what and where to plant. Use the plant crops tool. Okay. So the plant crops tool. Uh, what do we what do we want to plant? Crops need to be planted on irrigated land, otherwise they will dry out and eventually die. So plant carrots. So let's plant. some carrots here 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 I think we we go all the way up to there Ooh, we have to plant a lot of carrots and then we need A hundred. Kind of wish I would have changed how I did that now, but that's okay. All right. While all buildings you placed have some storage, they will fill up quickly. Build additional stockpiles for logs and water. Each storage building can only hold one type of resource. You can sell it or set it after selecting the building. So we need to build a large pile um, I think we do that over here. I think we do that over here. And we need a small tank. Small tank, I think, would make sense to keep that over here. And then let's go ahead and put a path in here. And we're also going to bring a path here. So that way we can get logs from there, logs from there. That should be okay. That should be okay. Let's go ahead and set this to logs. All right, and let's set this to water. Okay. And wait, did I not set that tank to? Yeah, water. There we go. 
Uh, the small tank, it, di it didn't take its setting to water. So it, that one may wait until it's built, I'm guessing. Set to water. All right, we're going to go ahead and fast forward again. Let that build up. I kind of like what we're doing here. Ooh, those carrots are, are going. We're planting some more. I like that we have some production going. We have built and set that. We need to get this set. Maybe I should have went. I kind of feel like I should have did that a little bit different. It has not, why did that not take? That was a small tank and it has water. Oh, I need to build three of them. Oh, see, there I go again. So we need three small tanks. And I think we are gonna kind of go like that. We're gonna set this one to water. We're gonna set this one to water and we're gonna let the game progress. All right, so we have done the three small waters. Uh, we will wait for those to get built and proceed to our next tutorial step. We got some carrots going. I am liking our work so far. And then I'll probably come in and put another water right here and we'll bring a road out here and we'll, we'll have uh, two more tanks then too. We'll, we'll kind of fork that. Actually, I'm gonna put that path down now because I know that's what I wanna do. Keeping our water right by our um, production. I like it. I like it a lot. We're gonna keep our logs over here. I also think housing would, would do really, I don't know if we, do we build housing? Polished buildings, assign priorities, storage, district, housing. Yeah, we do have lodges. So I can't wait to see what those look like. And it looks like we still got one tank to build. My concern is that we're gonna run out of some of these trees. Uh, we do have more over here that I can build on, which would, would be the next logical. I don't know how quickly... Oh, those are growing back pretty pretty decently. So we should be all right. We should be all right. All right, we've gotten that done. We now need to build a medium warehouse. So with logs and water having a place to store, you should prepare the same for berries in the upcoming carrot harvest. So we're gonna come back to storage and we are going to build two medium warehouses. Um, I think I want, I think I want these. Oh, where do we want our warehouses? I kind of want these over here. Um, I think I want one right there, and, and honestly, the other one right there. I am very purposely trying to, to build this in a way that I think think would make sense. So let's make this carrots and let's make this berries and let's go ahead and get those to be built. We are working on it. We are going to go through another day here. Oh, we have, we have grow up. Wait, the, the beavers grow up? Aw, 
because they're all just out laying and on the ground. They need pla they need places that are safe for them to stay. When are we gonna build the houses? Jeez. All right, and our last warehouse should be built here momentarily. And it is, so let's go ahead and slow the simulation. All right, science points are used to unlock more advanced buildings. An inventor will produce science points over time. I think our inventor, can I? Building should, should kind of stay. Yeah, I kind of like that. I kind of like that. And let's connect that right there. Let's also connect these. We're going to put a path right there, too. I don't know where that path is going to go. I really dislike that that path does not align, and I may end up changing that at some point. Um, I mean, we could go and put a path here and can I demolish uh, rubble mark resources on mark can I remove a path can I like just just take that path away because now I really don't like that uh Yes. There we go. I like that a little better. We may end up changing that again at some point, but for now, I like that better. All right. So we are working on building our inventor. We need some logs, so we're going to go ahead and get those, and we got them. It is built. Let's go ahead and continue. Homes increase your beaver's well-being and allow your... Folktales population to grow. Build enough lodges to house all your beavers. So we're going to need six houses. And we got to figure out where we want to do our housing. I kind of feel I can't get two back to back here. Um, I, I want to keep that land free. We could go one, two... Three, four, five, and six. I don't know that I like that by the lumber yard. Yeah, I don't know that I like that. But I think for now that will work. I think for now that'll be all right. Let's go ahead and speed up time. Our beavers are taking their uh, nightly nap. And when they come back, they're going to get their houses in order. I want to see what these actually... Oh, those look cool little lodges. I like it. I like it a lot. We could put one here too, I I guess. I feel like over here we can get some more in. We can surround this area with some too. I kind of wish I did some of this a little bit different now. We've gotten two of them built. They are working on a third one here, which is about 50% done. Your, our beavers are happier than ever. You have reached a new well-being high score of three. Cool. 
I like it. I like it a lot. I like it a lot. So let's go ahead and let this build. We have two more ho uh, houses to be built. Beavers happiness went up again. We have a new well-being high score of four. I like it a lot. And we are working on the final house. We have depleted our, our uh, tree area. Can I? This is pine, but it died. Um, that is scaring me a little bit. We've also reached a, a, a high happiness whatever of five. So we are doing pretty good here. Let's slow this down. We can now pr start producing more advanced resources, but some buildings requir require power to do so. Build a water wheel by the shore on the river. It is dependent on the water flow, so it will stop producing energy when there is no water. All right, so we need a water wheel. Um, how is this... I kind of feel like this should be like, well, it's going to have to be right up against there, but which, it's got to go this way, right? We're going to put that there. And then, to, I, I would imagine we have to have a path. That's the problem. That might be the problem here is I can't, I can't get a path through. Hold on. Hold on. Can I move this? Um, no. Um, I don't really want to. I'm guessing there ha that has to be the path, right? I don't, I don't know. We're gonna find out in a second. If it is, we're going to take the path of least resistance. So that's going to be over here because I only have to demolish this. Oh, no. A drought is approaching. We can't have a drought. No droughts. No droughts allowed. We don't even have our water wheel yet. What do you mean that there's a drought approaching? Jeez, let's get these water, this water filled up. Um, does this? Yeah, I have almost all of that. Cut trees, cut trees. Wow, that takes a lot of logs. I 
I think we're going to need to build an additional... Uh, where, where do I do that at? Wood. Lumberjack. Let's do that. And then let's build a path. We're going to take this path out to here, over to here, and over to here. <clears throat> and then we are going to cut trees. Why can't I... Is this... This is good, right? I should be able... Cut trees. Oh, mark tree cutting area. Duh. Let's mark that area. Let's also come through here and mark that. Um, can I demark some of this so we can just get some of this overflow out of here? Let's go ahead and mark that. Let's demark this and that. Okay, that should help us out some. No, no, I don't want to do anything with that blueberry bush. I would really, really, really like to get this done. So let's make that high priority. Let's go ahead and take off that overlay. Nothing to do in range. And our drought has started. Yeah, I'm aware that there's nothing. We just got to kind of let those grow again. I guess. And there we go. So power output is zero. I'm so confused. Did this need to be built the other way? It's time to start producing planks. Build a lumber mill and connect it to the water wheel with power, sh oh, with power shafts. Okay, so we need a lumber mill. Um, I think we try and put this over here. I don't know if that's going to work. We're going to try it. And then power. We need power shafts. Okay. Um, straight power shaft. We need a turn. I think we go straight, straight, straight. Then we try and turn. Can I go over pathways? I don't know. I've never done this before. Okay, so power shaft turn. We go that way. I can't take. <laughs> uh, are you sure you? Yeah, I want to unlock a high power shaft. I can't do anything with it. So I can't even take that through that way.
Okay, so we're going to have to... Hold on, let's pause. Let's just pause what we're doing here. Because what we're doing ain't working. So let's delete this. Let's delete this. Let's take this and delete this. Let's take one of these high shafts and... We are going to put that there. Let's take another straight shaft and put that there. Um, I still can't... I still can't get over there. So I don't think any of this is going to work. Um, I think we need to, we need to delete this building. And then we're going to come in here and delete all of that. Um, okay. So let's. think about this here. I kind of wish I would have built this wheel thing down here now. Not that it matters because we're in the middle of a drought and we can't do anything anyway. Let's come in here though with our delete tool. We are going to delete some of these berries. Unfortunately. And we're going to go ahead and Get those to be deleted. Then we are going to come in here with our lumber mill. And we are going to build this thing. I don't... quite like that. We're going to build that thing right there. Yeah. And then we're going to try and connect this power here. And we're going to come here. Oops, didn't want that one there. Delete that. We are going to put a turn shaft here. We are going to put a turn shaft there. We're gonna bring that out. We're gonna put another turn here and another turn here. And one more turn here. And there we go. Now, once these get deleted, we can go ahead and fill that in with some straight pieces. And I think that will be okay. Can I get this like? We gotta wait. Set this to high priority. These these power shafts should be low priority. We should be demolishing right now. That is our high priority. Do we gotta wait until those die?
All right, we're going to let this keep going. We have ran out of water, which is not good. That is not good at all. All right, our drought has ended. Do we have to wait six days for these to be demolished? That's like what I'm really afraid of right now. Oh, it's too far. I think that's what it's going with. They're saying it's too far, and that's why I couldn't build it or get to it. I don't, I don't know. Assign priorities. These are very high. There we go. There we go. All right, we just had to wait it out. There we go. I like it a lot. Get these as high priority. Kind of feel like we don't have enough water, uh, which is gonna be a problem. We've went ahead and finished that part. All right, Whew. we got it. Now we're cooking with oil. All right, we need a stable source of logs. Unlock the forester and build it near the place you want to plant trees. Unlock the forester with 60 points and place it where we want to plant trees. I think the logical choice would, would be up here. So I think that's what we're going to do. Uh, let's go ahead and get that going there. Uh, water will, will kind of come in. Man, I feel like... I kind of feel like we need more water production. We're going to have to keep an eye on that. Um, over here, I'm almost... I am I am almost okay with us, like, getting rid of this. What's nothing to do with it? Yeah, that's that. In using this land for something other than trees... But I don't, I don't quite know how I feel on that yet. So that's something to think about. What we want to do is make sure that this is a top priority. I want to build another water thing here. And I think we're going to make that a top priority 
for the moment. We've gotten our forester there. Let's go ahead and, and minimize that. You can now plant trees. Choose the plant tree and bushes tool and plant some pines. All right, so plant trees and bushes, and we are going to do pine. We're going to kind of do that out to there. All right. Your settlement is now self-sufficient as long as the water keeps flowing. Consider building a dam or placing more tanks to help your beavers survive the drought. The tutorial showed you the basics, but there is much more you can discover on your own. All right. So with that being said, we've completed the tutorial. We've learned the basics of building our settlement, which we have gotten to a a decent state um we have some work to do for sure and we will have to get to work on that in the very next episode so with that being said if you enjoyed the episode just us getting through the tutorial uh, then make sure you hit the like button. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, hit that subscribe button. Subscriptions are free. Great way to help out. So you also don't miss any of our next videos. And then if you would leave a comment in the comment section, it could be an emoji of a tree or a bush. And uh, I will make sure to respond to all of those comments that you post with a emoji or a quick saying myself. If you are looking forward to seeing what comes next in this Timberborn series, let me know. And let me know what you think we should do or should have done differently in this initial build. Until next time, I'm Denrick. Have a good one. Goodbye for now.